Martinsboro, just 30 minutes away, hosted professional bull riding. One of our reporters, Angelina Fanceroni, brings us highlights from the night. The Greensboro Coliseum was filled with cowboy hats, boots, and bulls. Professional bull riding teams held cowboy days all weekend, and fans were excited to see the different games. No rod is the same. And what you can expect is the unexpected, right? You don't know if somebody's going to be injured. Unfortunately, hopefully that doesn't happen. But you really just don't know, like, if all five are going to ride, if two are going to ride, if one are going to ride. And it makes the team event so, so much more exciting. The night started with a bang and welcomed eight teams, including the Carolina Cowboys. The Carolina Cowboys win out the gate, every, all five uh, ride, and they remain in the lead. During the games, the U.S. Border Patrol safety team round up the bulls back to the chutes. Staff members who watched bull riding on TV had the chance to work the event. It's something interesting to do and something interesting to watch. It's very exciting. I love to see the bulls reaction and all of that. It's just, it's, it's exciting. It's adrenaline, that adrenaline gets to flowing. Even though the event ended around 11 p.m., younger fans joined in on the fun. Well, I did like all the bulls and all the riders, especially the Mr. Clown. He does this. That was my favorite part of all time. And two emotions to end the night. I was feeling energetic and very joyful. The Carolina Cowboys rode home the win on the first night of Cowboy Days. Angelina Fantironi, ENN Tonight. The PBR's next stop is in Fort Worth, Texas next weekend.